Hi, and welcome to this video about Pipkin classification of femoral head fractures. So this classification was developed by the American orthopedic surgeon Garrett Pipkin in the 1957. And it is one of the most commonly used classifications for femoral head fractures in the present moment. So it is a four grade system to classify femoral head fractures associated with posterior hip dislocations. And there is another classification, which is the Thompson Epstein, and that is used for the posterior hip dislocations. And it contains five grades. And in the fifth grade of the Thompson Epstein, there is a posterior hip dislocation associated with femoral head fracture. And the Bipkin classification is a subclassification of the grade 5 of the, of the Thompson Epstein. At least that's what most orthopedic surgeons view this classification as. So, this classification is based on the location of the femoral head fracture, and these injuries occur after severe high impact trauma, such as motor vehicle collisions. So we'll start with the grades. So in the grade one of this classification, there is a small fracture and it is inferior to the fovea cavitis. And it is not involving the weight bearing surface of the femoral head. So this is drawing explaining this. So we have the femoral head here, the femoral neck, the greater trochanter, the lesser trochanter and the femoral shaft. And we have the pelvis here, and this is the acetabulum. So there is a fracture inferior to the fovea cavitis here, and it is not involving the uh, and not involving the weight bearing surface of the femur. And this is the grade one. In grade two, there is a larger fracture, and it is extending to the superior to the fovea cavitis, and usually including the fovea and it is involving the weight-bearing surface of the femur, of the femoral head. This drawing explains this more. So it is, so the fracture is including the fovea cavitis in grade two, and it is involving the weight-bearing surface of the femur. So, so in grade three, there is a femoral head fracture associated with femoral neck fracture, and there is increased risk of a vascular necrosis. And this is drawing explain this more. So there is a femoral head fracture, and it is any type. It might be involving the fovea, and it might be not involving the fovea. And it is associated with a femoral neck fracture. While in stage four or grade four, there is any femoral head fracture associated with acetabular fracture. So there is a femoral head fracture here, and there is also a stabular fracture. Thank you guys for watching, please don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down if you have any questions, thank you.